I walked around that store for a while and I looked at some other fabric like was $27.99 a yard. I wasn't sure how many yards because like I said before, I'm not a seamstress and I wasn't sure how many yards I would need. So I showed her a picture of my chairs, but even at 40% off, I didn't want to spend that much. This I can deal with. It has some of the same colors in it as the rug. It's not the exact pattern, but it's okay. It looks okay. Originally, I was going to cover those dining room chairs with this leather fabric, but I changed my mind. I went out to Lowe's and bought myself a staple puller because I remember the last time I tried to do these chairs, it was hard getting the other staples out. So this thing works wonders. It's a lot easier and also I got some longer staples half inch staples because these were like five eighths or something they were too short but I managed to make it work then but this time I decided I'm going to get the right equipment to do this Never mind this messy. This is years and years of stuff here. This is what the cushion originally looked like when I purchased this dining room set. Chairs. Um, I've cut the material into four pieces. And I'm trying to figure out, okay. Both sides look about the same to me, but I think this is the back. So I'm going to lay the pillow down as you can see I have extra fabric Let's see if I have enough to go up around plenty on the sides but mainly I want to make sure I have enough to staple down here and enough to staple here and then work on the sides if I really wanted to get fancy with it I could have gotten some new lining cover for the bottom there but knowing me I'm gonna do this again probably let me tell you when doing a project like this get yourself an electric staple gun it is a lot easier on your hands I made sure that I had enough material so that I can cut off any extra if necessary. I didn't want to cut it too short and then not be able to overlap it. So as you can see here, I'm taking these dull scissors, they used to be sharp, and try to cut this fabric. Those are actually my office scissors. I have to get myself a good pair of cutting scissors, fabric cutting scissors, but I just want to make that investment since I don't sew a lot, so I figure why bother. As you can see, I went and got some other scissors. My hair cutting scissors is what I'm using here, and then the other scissors, I forgot what those are called, but they're shears. Uh, they have ridges on them. Now, as you can see, I cut enough where I can fold it over because this type of fabric seems like it frays a lot. So, I want to make sure it doesn't unravel. So, I'm tucking it, pulling it tightly. And pow. 
And I'm gonna do that all the way around and then come back. And once all four corners are done, I'm gonna reinforce it with more staples. Now I'm trying to get these corners, which can be tricky, trying to fold it like a present. Of course, this thing's acting up. There's staples in here, but I don't know. to get my stapler pull because sometimes if you don't press down hard enough it will not go all the way in okay now to try to get this corner here which is the front just try to tuck it as tight as you can and staple and cut off any excess. done I'm going back over it with some more staples just to reinforce it a little bit more there you have it a nicely covered 
seat cushion. Giving your furniture or your dining room chairs a different look. And there you have it. I have one more to do. I hope you enjoy this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, turn your notification bell so you know when I upload another video. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.